everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So before we get into some NHL actions for February the 19th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So we have a full slate of games here for February the 19th, so let's get started right away. We look at the Colorado Avalanche versus the Buffalo Sabres. Colorado comes in burning hot. They have won five out of their last six games. Buffalo is ice cold up. They are just two and four over their last six games. If you look at the um, over-under, you see that the Colorado has trending in games under the line in the last four games, while Buffalo has trended in games over the line in the last three games. The score prediction has Colorado with a 4-3 edge with a 68% level of confidence. On the power ranking indicator, you can see there's a clear advantage here for Colorado at plus 31, while Buffalo is down at plus 2. The stability factor, looking at the volatility oscillator, you can see that both teams are performing extremely well with regards to their favorite underdog status with Colorado at plus 23 and Buffalo at plus 16. This is more indication that Colorado will come away with a road win. There should be very little contest here. I like Colorado by a couple of goals and in a game going over the line. Edmonton at Winnipeg. Edmonton comes in burning hot. They have won their last two and are 3-3 three and three over their last six. Winnipeg is averaged down and they are also 3-3 three and three over their last six, coming off of a 3-1 to one loss to Chicago. If you take a look at the over-under, Five out of the last six games have gone under the line with Edmonton, and three out of the last six games have gone under the line for Winnipeg. The score prediction has Winnipeg with a 3-2 to two margin of win, but only 17% level of confidence, so take that with, to, with a grain of salt. Take that into consideration before you uh, pick solely based off of that information. The power rankings indicator shows that Edmonton is at plus 13. They have a slight edge of 13-10 to 10 over Winnipeg. The volatility oscillator shows that both teams are moderately stable, although if you look here, um, Winnipeg was at plus 10 not that long ago, just what, back on January 22nd, and now they are down at um, plus 5. So they have been a little bit less consistent according to their favorite underdog stats as of late. What I'm looking at in this game here is I think Edmonton is just too strong. I like Edmonton to come on top on this one, perhaps in overtime, but I would bet under. I like a defensive battle. Boston and Ottawa. Both teams are coming in average status at the moment. Both teams are 3-3 three three over their last six. If you look at the over-under, Boston has been in games over the line in four out of their last six, while Ottawa has been in games over the line in three out of the last six. The score prediction has Ottawa with a 3-2 margin of win, with about 61% level of confidence in the prediction. The power ranking indicator, you see Boston has been on a downward trend. They were at plus 24 a little less than a month ago, and they are now down to plus 13, while Ottawa was at plus 10 back on February the 10th, and they are now at plus 6. The stability factor shows... Let's see what it shows. There we go. That Boston is at plus 16. They've been a lot more consistently performing according to the third underdog status in Ottawa. But Ottawa is still at plus 8, so they have been moderately consistent as well. I do like a road upset in this one. I just think that Boston is a better team overall, and I think it will be more of a defensive battle. So I like Boston by a goal going under the line. St. Louis and Toronto. The Blues average stats at the moment 3-3 three and three over the last six. While the Maple Leafs are average up, they are 4-2 and two over the last six, and they just broke a two-game losing streak with a 6-2 win over Seattle. St. Louis has been involved in games over the line in five out of the last six, and Toronto in all six of their last six. I think this will be a very high-scoring game. And the score prediction has a relatively high-scoring game here as well, 4-2 to two in favor of Toronto with 55% level of confidence. I believe that six goals would be over. Although right now the line has not yet been set for this game. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that both teams are on a downward trend. Toronto was at plus 31, they are down to plus 23, while St. Louis was at 24, and they are down to plus 17. Take a look at the volatility oscillator, and again, both these teams are pretty stable, pretty consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. 
at plus 13 for Toronto and plus 9 for St. Louis. I do like Toronto to win this one at home. I don't think it'll be that close, actually. I think it'll be about a two-score game, and I will bet over the line. The Kings and the Coyotes. The Kings are burning hot at the moment, winners of four out of their last six, and they have been over the line in all six of their last six games. Arizona, ice cold down. They are two and four over their last six, coming off of a four to three loss to Tampa Bay, and they have been involved in games over the line in their last four. Very good indication to bet the over in this one. The score prediction has it at three to two in favor of Los Angeles, with about 60% level of confidence. I actually believe it's going to be a uh, higher scoring game than that. Uh, if you look at the power rankings indicator, Los Angeles is at plus 16. And Arizona, they were at 1 for a while. And they have climbed up slightly. They are still only at plus 4. The volatility oscillator, like we always like to look at. This is a very good indication to bet the Kings. Arizona, plus 23. Very stable, very consistently performing. And they're likely going to be a home underdog. Uh, so I would very much bet on uh, the Kings with high level of confidence that they will win this game. And I like them to win in a game over the line. Anaheim and Vancouver. The Ducks are averaged down at the moment losers of their last two and three and three over their last six. While the Canucks are averaged there coming off of a three to two win over Toronto. You see that um, the over under Anaheim. Over in their last game, over four times in the last six games, while Vancouver has been trending in games over the line in their last four and four out of their last six. The score prediction would definitely be under, though, if this would hold three to one in favor of Vancouver with 61% level of confidence. Power rankings, you can see Anaheim was at plus 24 just a couple weeks ago, and they have dropped down now to plus 18, while Vancouver was at plus 14, and they are down to plus 11. With the stability factor once again, and you can see that both teams again perform, perform pretty consistently. Uh, Vancouver not quite as stable as Anaheim, but still plus nine and plus fourteen, showing that they are pretty well performing according to their favorite underdog status. I do like Vancouver to prevail in this one. I think this game would actually go over the line compared to what the score prediction is showing right now, which would be under the line. But I like this to be a higher scoring game with Vancouver on top. Seattle and Calgary. The crack and ice cold down at the moment, losers of four out of their last six. While the Flames are burning hot, they have won their last six games. If you look at this total streak, though, Seattle over in five out of the last six games. Calgary involved in games over the line in five out of their last six games as well. Very good indication to bet the over. Again, though, the score prediction is showing a little bit different as a three to one edge for Calgary with confidence in prediction of about 69%. The power rankings, not a big surprise here. The Calgary is significantly higher at plus 27. You can see they're on a steep upward trend. While the Kraken up slightly from plus 2 to plus 7. On the stability factor, now Seattle has not been nearly as consistently performing according to the favored underdog status at plus 3. And Calgary is moderately stable at plus 8. And they have been are more stable now than they had been earlier in the season. I do think Calgary is just much better. There's really no way to actually go into this game picking Seattle to win. Calgary is a significantly better team. Um, Calgary will win this by a few goals, and I do believe this one will be a high-scoring game going over the line. I'm looking at a 4-2, maybe 5-3 total on this one. So there you have it. Those are all the games on tap for this week on February 19th in the NHL. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.